here we want to determine whether x minus 1, whether it is or not a factor of this polynomial function. So recall the polynomial x minus k is a factor if the number you plug in to the function equals 0. Uh, so let's go ahead and do our synthetic division. When we're given um, the number in factored form, to take it out of factor form, remember, just think of like you're solving for x. Set that equal to 0 and solve for x. To solve for x, you would have to add 1, which means x equals 1. So you're going to have a 1 outside of your division symbol. Let's check to make sure that we are not missing uh, any degrees here. Uh, so we have degree 4, and then it goes to degree 2. So we're missing degree 3 here. So we have to make sure we insert a 0 there. Uh, all other degrees are there. See, 2, 1, and the constant. So yes, let's go ahead and place a 0 in 3's place, and we'll start the division process by bringing down the 2. Multiply that with 1 to get 2. Bring down 2. Multiply that with 1 to get 2. Bring down 5. Multiply that with 1 to get 5. Bring down 0. Multiply that with 1 to get 0. Bring down 7. A remainder or our output is a 7. In order for the number we plugged in to be a, a zero or a factor, we must have a zero out. Since we did not get a zero out, it means that x minus one, uh, that it is not a factor of this polynomial function.